the Ukrainian community is crossing the border as soon as they cross the border between Ukraine and Moldova. And they uh, get on shuttles um, and the shuttles just bring them back to here. And when they reach here, it's after many, many hours, sometimes even days, sometimes even needing to sleep in this weather outside uh, on, on, you know, on the side of the road. They call this, uh, it, it's insane to describe. Like if you don't leave it, uh, it's difficult to understand. But when you spend hours in a border with the snow, and you know, you maybe imagine to be a mother and you need to go out with your kids and you don't know where you are going. You don't know if a shelter is welcoming you. You don't know if the bus is coming and you are on an open field full of snow and wind. I, I leave you the imagination. The big blue tent, uh, that's a tent the Israel has put up together with a local organization, uh, Keystone Foundation, and we're just really trying to provide a safe, warm space uh, specifically for mothers and babies and children so they can take a minute to pause, try and get a little bit warm before they kind of gather themselves to continue the journey. Inside the tent, we have a special area dedicated for children um, where the volunteers who are trained by ISRA Aid are providing kind of psychosocial support, recreational activities, a space uh, for the kids to settle for a minute and the parents to breathe. One kid um, drew his home and the, the, the road they go escaped to the tent. And like you can see it, in, the mother is talking about it, but the kid is drawing it. And what are we trying to do is to point out the strong powers of the mothers and to support them that they did the right thing, they saved their children, now they're in a safe place and we will do something active to try to go further.